Okay, we're going to get started on pin number two. And side one and pin number two is going to have a hidden pocket and a waterfall. So the hidden pocket is going to be five inches tall by six and a half inches wide. So let's go six and a half inches here. And this is 65 pound card stock by five inches. And it's just gonna sit right here. And we'll go ahead and add a little mat on there. Go ahead and trim about an eighth of an inch off the width of this just so that it doesn't interfere with opening and closing. Now we need seven pieces at five inches by three and a half inches. these along the three and a half inch side at half an inch. that both directions so that I've got a good visual on where the crease is because we want to line the waterfall up but we don't want it to overlap the crease.
at it with this paper right here. So those mats, those mats are gonna be two and three quarters by, well, the first one is gonna be four and three quarters. I need seven of these at half an inch. So that's one. Last one needs to be two and three quarters. And we're gonna mat this section up here as well. It looks like I need to cut off. trim a tag real quick. The tag will go in here in this pocket that's hidden behind the waterfall. That's going to be a five by five. And we're just going to use a piece of scrap.
So the inside of Fin2, the, the two interior pages, are gonna be a pair of pockets. And I'm gonna cut them at five by six and a half, and I'll be able to do it with just one sheet of 65 pound stock. Before we go too much farther, I'm going to go ahead and match, cut the mats anyway. We're gonna cut these mats at two inches by six and a quarter. So we're gonna end up, when we're done with this fin, We'll have, grab the other base page for this fin. We'll have two pages with pockets and tags. And they'll be adhered to the fin right through here. So I'm gonna start by gluing down the mats that are going to go under the pockets and if you wanted to you could do a full page mat i am saving material so that's why i'm not doing a full page mat Now we want to mat the outer pockets. So that is five inches wide by six and a half inches tall. The mats are going to be four and three quarters by six and a quarter. We need two tags and those tags are going to be five by five. Instead of 
matting the whole tag. I'm only gonna mat about an inch on each tag. And I'm going to add this side of bin two. So this is side for a sec. I'm going to line it up with the first fin. And before I adhere this down, I want to cut two more mats and die cut some stuff. So I'll be right back. Okay, we're gonna die cut some photo corners. This is gonna be the same die cut that we used on the front. All right, hopefully I can get this all before the battery dies on me. We're gonna cut a couple of mats to 
five and three quarters by five and three quarters. Okay, and before we adhere this piece down, I'm not gonna be gluing the entire corner down, just the back, so that these become tuck spots. Ready to add that one to the fin. 